talked to fear a couple times. And um, sort of that four-letter word that comes in all of our lives in different forms. Some people are driven by it. Some people are stymied by it, completely or paralyzed by it. Can you talk about how you view fear? I think fear for me at this stage in the game, like if I'm, if I'm looking at it now, which what really drives me is two things. I would say one, um, I don't want to let down humanity. I think that uh, it's really important for certain people to step up and deploy these technologies at scale. Uh, the climate crisis is real. I hope people in this room right here are thinking about how they can get into the industry and really make a difference because we need the smartest minds to step up and do this. And then the other one is, um, you know, to do it, you have to bring together a group of people that are incredibly talented um, and, and have those people rooting for you, helping you, working together. Because it's like, candidly, the biggest problem in the history of the world. And so I have a fear, you know, today, like, I don't want to let those people down. I don't want to let them down if they bet on me. I don't want to let them down if they believe in me. Um, and so that fear kind of causes me to wake up at 6 a.m., meditate, get to the gym, go hit it hard, and say, look, you know, we got we to deliver for this collective group of people that are going to will uh, better ways to power the planet into the universe. Fear worked good for me earlier in life and then later in life when you realize all the things you're missing out on emotionally, you're, you're not living a full life if you're sort of all driven by fear. Yeah. But I don't think your fear is as sort of negative and destructive as a lot of people's fears are. It's the, the fear of not doing enough, uh, of not sort of making an impact, of not fulfilling your potential got so much potential in this room what are we going to do next you know yeah. that that's a that's a fear that can paralyze you yeah yeah there's one more fear topic i want to hit you with really okay. quick because i think it'd be helpful for all you guys in this room so if you're going to be really successful and do extraordinary things with your life they're going to be fulfilling you're probably going to blow through what i call kind of a maximum fear threshold every single year some people blow through like one in their life and they're done other people do four or five and, and they're done to really keep growing inside, get a little better every day, push yourself, you've, you're going to blow through one every single year. And what's interesting is when you hit these maximum fear thresholds in your life, there are these pivotal moments. I call them oh shit moments, OSMs. And I'm like, okay, I'm at one, I'm at one. Holy shit, Jess, I'm, I'm having one right now. And I know that I've got to blast through it. I've got to get through this next threshold. And what I find is right on the edge, is all the magic. If I can get on the other edge of that fear, that maximum th fear threshold, I've grown. I've, I've pushed through. I've accomplished something more than, than before.